Ever wondered about the do's and don'ts in Japan? Picture a land where ancient traditions blend seamlessly with cutting-edge technology, where majestic shrines and temples share the skyline with towering skyscrapers, where the changing seasons paint the landscape in a kaleidoscope of colors. Welcome to Japan, a country that is as diverse as it is intriguing. Japan, an island nation located in East Asia, is a travel destination like no other. It is a place that takes you on a journey through time, from the tranquil simplicity of a traditional tea ceremony to the electrifying neon lights of Tokyo's bustling streets. Each city, each prefecture, has its own distinct charm and character, offering a unique slice of Japanese life and culture. But it's not just the breathtaking sights and the delicious cuisine that make Japan such an enchanting destination. It's also the people and their customs. The Japanese are renowned for their politeness and hospitality, their respect for order and harmony, their dedication to craftsmanship and perfection. These traits are deeply rooted in their culture and are reflected in their everyday life. As travelers, it's important for us to embrace these cultural nuances. It's not just about ticking off a list of attractions or trying out exotic food. It's about immersing ourselves in the local way of life, understanding their values and traditions, respecting their customs and etiquette. In Japan, the little things matter. A simple bow, a quiet thank you, the way you hold your chopsticks or take off your shoes. These small actions speak volumes about your respect and appreciation for their culture. So why is it important to know the do's and don'ts in Japan? Because it's a way of showing our respect. It's a way of saying, I see you, I value your culture. I am here not just as a tourist, but as a guest. And who knows, in doing so, we might just experience Japan in a way that most tourists don't. Ready to dive into the fascinating world of Japanese etiquette? Buckle up. Let's start with the things you absolutely should do in Japan. Japan is a country steeped in history and tradition, a place where the old and the new coexist in perfect harmony. As visitors to this beautiful archipelago, it's crucial that we respect and embrace these customs. So let's delve into the key do's when you're in Japan. First and foremost, respect the traditions. Japan has a rich cultural heritage and it's essential to honor it. Whether it's bowing when greeting someone or participating in a traditional tea ceremony, show your appreciation for the culture. Remember, a bow is more than just a polite gesture. It's a symbol of respect and humility. Now let's talk about punctuality. If there's one thing that Japan is renowned for, it's the precision of its timekeeping. Trains arrive and depart with split-second accuracy, and meetings start exactly when they're supposed to. So when you're in Japan, remember to be on time. In fact, being early is even better. Your promptness will be appreciated and seen as a sign of respect. Another important point is cleanliness. Japan is known for its spotless streets and well-maintained public spaces. As visitors, it's our responsibility to contribute to this cleanliness. So, make sure to pick up after yourself and don't litter. You'll find that many Japanese people carry a small bag with them to store their trash until they can dispose of it properly. Next, let's talk about footwear etiquette. In Japan, it's customary to take off your shoes before entering someone's home and even some traditional restaurants and inns. You'll usually find a designated area near the entrance where you can leave your shoes. It's a sign of respect meant to keep the inside of the building clean. So when you see a row of neatly lined up shoes at the door, follow suit. Remember, Japan is a country of harmony where people value the community over the individual. So it's important to blend in and not cause any disturbances. Keep your voice down in public places, especially on public transport. It's all about maintaining the we or harmony of the surroundings. One more thing you should definitely do in Japan is savor the local cuisine. Japanese food is a culinary art form in itself, from the beautifully presented sushi to the hearty bowls of ramen. Don't be afraid to venture beyond the familiar and try something new. You might just discover your new favorite dish. Also, if you're visiting shrines or temples, remember to follow the specific rituals associated with them. For example, you might see a water fountain at the entrance of a shrine. This is for purification purposes. Use the ladle provided to rinse both hands and then rinse your mouth and spit out the water beside the fountain, not back into it. It's these little details that make experiencing Japan so special. Lastly, but certainly not least, always be polite and courteous. The Japanese language is filled with phrases of gratitude and respect, so why not learn a few? 
a simple arigatou gozaimasu, thank you very much, or sumimasen, excuse me, can go a long way in showing your appreciation. Remember, when in Japan, do as the Japanese do. Whether it's partaking in century-old traditions, keeping the streets clean, or simply being on time, these actions not only show respect, but also enhance your own experience. So embrace these do's and you'll surely have an unforgettable journey in the land of the rising sun. Now that we've covered the do's, let's talk about the don'ts. In Japan, understanding the cultural norms and adhering to them is seen as a sign of respect, and it can certainly enhance your overall experience. So let's dive into some of the key things you should avoid doing while in Japan. Firstly, let's talk about tipping. In many parts of the world, tipping is customary, even expected. But in Japan, it's a different story. Tipping might be seen as rude or even insulting. It's often interpreted as a gesture suggesting that the person needs additional money to do their job, which is considered disrespectful. So, when the bill comes, just pay the exact amount and be on your way. Next, let's discuss public etiquette, specifically speaking volumes. Japan is a country where silence is greatly valued. You'll find that public spaces, like trains or restaurants, are surprisingly quiet. People generally avoid talking loudly or making unnecessary noise. It's seen as a sign of consideration for others. So, when you're out and about, try to keep your volume down. Trust me, your fellow commuters or diners will thank you for it. Another important point to remember is about chopsticks. These aren't just eating utensils in Japan, they carry a certain cultural significance. There are several chopstick taboos you should be aware of. For instance, never cross your chopsticks when you put them down on the table. It's seen as a sign of death and is considered extremely bad luck. Also, avoid sticking your chopsticks vertically into a bowl of rice. This is a ritual performed during funerals, so doing it at the dinner table is a big no-no. Remember, when in doubt, just observe what others are doing and follow suit. Now let's talk about shoes. In Japan, cleanliness is a big deal. It's customary to remove your shoes before entering someone's home and even some traditional restaurants and hotels. You'll often find slippers provided for you to use instead. The rule of thumb is, if you see a row of shoes at the entrance, it's a clear indication that you should take yours off too. Another don't is related to personal space. In Japan, people value their personal space and it's important to respect this. Avoid touching people, especially those you're not familiar with. This includes actions that might be seen as friendly in other cultures, like patting someone on the back or hugging. It's best to stick to a respectful bow when greeting people. Lastly, littering is a big frowned upon. Despite the surprising lack of public trash cans, the streets of Japan are remarkably clean. People take pride in their surroundings and make an effort to keep them litter free. So. Hold on to your trash until you find a proper place to dispose of it. In conclusion, while these don'ts might seem daunting at first, they're actually quite simple to follow once you get the hang of it. The key thing to remember is to be respectful and considerate of those around you. By avoiding these common faux pas, you're not only showing respect for the Japanese culture, but you're also ensuring a smoother and more enjoyable trip. Avoiding these common faux pas can make your trip to Japan smoother and more enjoyable. So there you have it, some key don'ts to keep in mind when you're in Japan. Remember, when in Rome, do as the Romans do, or in this case, when in Japan, do as the Japanese do. It's all about respect and understanding. And who knows, you might find yourself picking up a few good habits along the way. Japan is not just about do's and don'ts. It's a land of unique and mesmerizing culture. Diving deeper into the heart of Japan, we encounter an array of cultural aspects that are as captivating as they are distinct. One such tradition is the Japanese tea ceremony, or chanoyu. This isn't simply a matter of pouring hot water over leaves. Oh no, it's a meticulous, time-honored practice steeped in Zen Buddhism, symbolizing purity, tranquility, and harmony. Every movement, every gesture is deliberate and carries meaning. The whole process is an art form a silent conversation between the host and their guests. Speaking of harmony, it's not just prevalent in tea ceremonies. It's a fundamental principle that permeates Japanese society. Known as Wei, this concept of harmony emphasizes balance and unity, whether it's in social relationships, architecture, or even food presentation. It's this pursuit of Wei that contributes to the country's serene landscapes and orderly cityscapes. 
making Japan a haven of tranquility amidst the bustling world. Now let's talk about omotenashi, a term that encapsulates the heart of Japanese hospitality. It's hard to translate directly into English, but it's all about anticipating guests' needs, offering impeccable service, and ensuring their comfort without expecting anything in return. Omotenashi is everywhere in Japan, from the humblest eateries to the most luxurious ryokans. It's in the thoughtfully arranged slippers at your hotel door, the meticulously prepared meals and the respectful bow of thanks you receive. This level of hospitality is so ingrained in the culture that it feels second nature, making any visitor feel like a valued guest. So as you can see, the Japanese culture is a beautiful tapestry woven with threads of tradition, respect, and harmony. It's a culture that values the unspoken, cherishes the transient beauty of nature, and places immense importance on hospitality. Embracing these unique aspects can truly enrich your Japanese travel experience. So that's a wrap on the do's and don'ts in Japan. We've journeyed through the unique customs and traditions of this fascinating country, shedding light on the behaviors to embrace and those to avoid. From the importance of respecting the local culture to the etiquette of dining and interacting with locals, we've covered it all. We've also delved into the unique aspects of Japanese culture, a vibrant tapestry woven from centuries of history and tradition. Remember, when you travel, you're not just a visitor, you're an ambassador for your own culture. It's our responsibility to respect and honor the customs of the lands we explore. If you've enjoyed this video about the do's and don'ts in Japan, why not give this video a thumbs up? Your likes are the compass that guides us in creating content that you love. And if you're already a part of our VIP loving community, thank you. You are the wind beneath our wings. If you're new here and you've found value in this video, consider joining the family. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to ensure you never miss out on a new travel etiquette guide.